Silk Technologies, Altesta Analyzer. This inexpensive analytical instrument is based on HPLC technology. It offers a simple tabletop solution for measuring different chemicals in small and trace concentrations, providing you with an extremely user-friendly setup and self-explanatory software. This system will become your go-to HPLC. The Altesta Analyzer comes fully equipped with a UV VIS multi-wavelength detector, a small and random axis auto sampler, which contains its own valve and syringe on the front, an advanced high pressure syringe pump, and the power tower, which not only supplies the power for the system, but also contains our Stream LC, which allows for the connection to our cloud-based software, hplc.cloud. Each of these devices can be used separately, but are best utilized when together. Now, let's show you just how easy and simple it is to set up. Let's begin by attaching the units to the bracket on the side of the power tower. Starting with the detector, loosen the bracket on its side with the provided Allen wrench and simply slide it down to near the bottom of the power tower. Now tighten it with the wrench to make sure it's stabilized. Now the auto sampler. Again, loosen its bracket and slide it just so its platform is even with the top of the tower. Then tighten it to make sure it's stabilized. Lastly, the pump. There's no bracket here as it will just sit inside the bottom platform of the power tower. Now onto the power either a 110 or 220 volt AC cable and ethernet line is what's needed to power this system. Next, we'll connect the auto sampler. On the side, you'll notice two ports that are fitted for a 24 volt DC cable and a USB-B cable. Plug these in and plug the other ends into the back of the power tower. There are multiple ports on the back of this tower. However, it does not matter which cables go where. For the detector, only a USB-B cable is needed for full power. Lastly, the syringe pump. A 24 volt DC cable and USB-B cable are needed. That's all the power needed. If done correctly, it should look like this. Now, we'll flip the system back around and connect all the liquid tubings to complete the setup of the system. Each system is provided with multiple capillary tubings, green, yellow, and clear. Please be sure that the capillaries are extended through the fittings before inserting them. This will provide a tight and secure hold to ensure there are no leaks. In position one of the auto sampler valve, connect a short green capillary to the leftmost side of the auto sampler syringe. In position two, connect another green capillary to the rightmost position of the syringe pump. In position three, Connect a yellow capillary to the correct side of your column while inserting another yellow capillary to the other end of the column. Then insert that end into the in position of the detector. Connect the yellow capillary that is extruding from the front right of the auto sampler to position four. In position 5, connect a clear capillary to your waste flask. Position 6 of the valve should have a plug in it. Keep that there, as no connection is needed, and connect the green capillary that is extruding from the front left of the auto sampler to the rightmost position of the auto sampler syringe. Now, take a clear capillary and connect it to the leftmost position of your syringe pump, with the other end going to your mobile phase. Be sure to have the provided filter connected to the clear tubing on the inside of your mobile phase flask. 
Lastly, take a clear capillary and connect it from the out position of the detector to the waste flask. The system is now set up and ready for testing. Be sure to watch our other videos for information on software, education, and more.